Jet engines are normally found on aircraft and weren't made for land vehicles. But don't tell any of that to the people who built and designed these jet-powered creations. And what do you get when you put a jet engine in a land vehicle? Find out by taking a look at these 10 insane cars with jet engines and see for yourself. Fire Force 3 Jet Car Funny cars are usually packing 10,000 plus horsepower nitro-burning Hemi V8s, but not the Fire Force 3 Jet Funny Car. It has a Pratt & Whitney J60 engine from a Sikorsky Skycrane helicopter, which puts out over 5,500 pounds of thrust. The Fire Force Jet Car drinks down 25 gallons of fuel for each 5.5 second run it does. The car has run a fastest quarter mile speed of 336.1 miles per hour. That's 540 kilometers per hour in just 5.6 seconds. While not as quick as a Nitro Funny Car off the starting line, Jet Funny Cars pick up top speed quicker near the finish line, which equates to their high speed records. Bloodhound SSC 1000 mile per hour. This jet-powered land speed vehicle was built with only one goal, to match or exceed 1,000 miles or 1,609 kilometers per hour. It's equipped with two engines, an auxiliary power unit in the form of a 550 horsepower supercharged Jaguar V8 engine, which also drives the oxidizer pump for the rocket. At full power, the Bloodhound gets 21 tons of thrust from its Eurojet EJ200 jet engine, which was originally developed for the Eurojet fighter. This will propel the car 300 miles or 480 kilometers per hour. After it reaches this speed, a hybrid rocket engine designed by the Nordic Ammunition Company will propel the car to 1,000 miles per hour, and it's supposed to achieve this in just 42 seconds. Shockwave Jet Power Truck If you can strap a jet engine to it, it probably exists. You can have a jet-powered funny car and dragster without a jet-powered semi-truck. And if it's big enough, why not three jet engines? The Shockwave Semi holds the world speed record for a jet-powered full-size truck at 376 miles per hour or 605 kilometers per hour. Its three Westinghouse J34-48 jet engines produce a total of 36,000 horsepower and 19,000 pounds of static thrust. It's enough thrust to literally peel asphalt from the ground. Shockwave uses 400 gallons of fuel for each race or fire show. Fire Force 5 Jet Car The Fire Force 5 is a jet dragster owned by the same people who built the Fire Force 3 Jet Funny Car. The jet dragster has an explosive thrust of over 5,500 foot-pounds and consumes 28 gallons of aviation fuel on each run, which only takes 5.1 seconds. It's powered by a Pratt & Whitney J60 jet engine out of a Sikorsky Skycrane helicopter, the same as the Fire Force 3 funny car. Jet-powered school bus By now, you might think you have seen it all when it comes to jet-powered vehicles. That is, until you see school time, the jet engine-powered school bus. It looks like a regular school bus, but was entirely custom-built by using aircraft materials that could withstand the power of the jet engine. A GE J79 jet fighter engine that cranks out 42,000 horsepower, that's enough to move this yellow school bus to a top speed of 367 miles per hour, about 590 kilometers per hour. A single run guzzles down 150 gallons of fuel and with the 80-foot flame shooting out of the back, you can see why. Budweiser Rocket the Budweiser rocket is a very famous jet-powered car, and it has been claimed that it is the very first supersonic jet car to break the sound barrier. The Budweiser Rocket 3 wheeled land vehicle was powered by a hybrid liquid and solid fuel rocket engine with an extra boost from a Sidewinder missile. On December 17, 1979, the car was pushed by stunt driver Stan Barrett to 739.9 miles per hour, which is 1,177 kilometers per hour. There is controversy surrounding the claim this car actually broke the sound barrier because there was no sonic boom heard during the run, but the Air Force did clock the car using its radar. Regardless, rules of having four wheels kept the car out of the record books. Thrust SSC The British Thrust SSC is officially recognized by the FIA as breaking the land speed record and the sound barrier as well. This incredible supersonic jet car holds the land speed record and on October 15, 1997, set a record of 763 miles per hour, around 1,228 kilometers per hour. 
The car is 54 feet long, that's 16.5 meters, and it weighs 10.5 tons. It's powered by two after-burning Rolls-Royce Spey Turbo fan engines, developing a massive 110,000 brake horsepower. With the engines putting out that much power, they are eating up 4.8 gallons or about 18 liters of fuel every second. The car now sits in a museum and still holds the land speed record. The Turbine Powered Lotus A jet engine is usually a turbine engine, but a turbine engine is not generally a jet engine. That sounds confusing, but in this case, the exhaust from the Pratt & Whitney turbine of the T56B Lotus is directed upwards at about 45 degrees, delivering only about 50 pounds of thrust and exerts downward pressure, not jet propulsion. With that stated, it can still be considered jet powered. Many were surprised to see and hear the turbine powered Lotus T56B race car in 1968. And the Pratt & Whitney turbine car was powerful its all-wheel drive system putting power to the pavement. The turbine-powered car wouldn't spin its wheels from 0 to 60 miles per hour, but just after 60, you could lay into the throttle and all four tires would start spinning. The Turbine Lotus had a lot of reliability and mechanical problems that eventually led to its demise. Helmet TX The Helmet TX was another turbine-powered car that came out in the late 60s. The interesting thing about this amazing car is that it was a turbine experimental car that went up against the Ford GTs, the Porsche factory, and Ferrari teams and actually beat these cars. The Helmet TX turbine engine had a power output of 350 horsepower and 650 foot-pounds of torque at 65,000 RPM. It had an ingenious wastegate design that allowed the turbine to operate at 80% throttle as it was going through the corners, controlling thrust but keeping the engine at near full power for when the car entered the straightaway. The helmet was a design marvel, but reliability problems eventually saw an end to the project. Jet Power Dodge Charger You might recognize this beast from the Fast and Furious series. The fate of the Furious, it's called the Ice Charger and it's an all-wheel drive Dodge Charger that has a turbine fitted in the trunk. However, the turbine doesn't actually propel the car. It's actually powered by a Chevrolet LS engine that has plenty of power for the stuntman. Still, even though the car isn't powered by the jet engine as previously mentioned, it is a cool car.